Hi students, uh, welcome back uh, to my session on process plant operator using simulator. And uh, today we are going to learn on on off temperature control. And uh, before this on off control uh, video, we have discussed about the on off level systems. And let me give you a brief about uh, what is on off control. On off control is such a control process where uh, uh, either the valve or final control element which is the valve either it will be completely open and completely closed there is no intermediate position uh, for the valve so these are such a control systems which are cheaper and uh, used for such a process where precise control is not necessary so let us go uh, and let us discuss about the today's class on on of temperature control let us go to the simulation window Okay. Uh, as we discussed, we have a graphic window. It looks like uh, this way, and uh, where uh, the objective of the process is to control the oil temperature between 75 and 80. So that is the main objective. First of all, let us go through the window. What are the things are there? There is some oil that is going into the vessel, where it is getting heated through the jacket using the steam the you can see the oil temperature you can see let us uh, before that let us see what are the different aspects the flow that is going into this is around 1000 kg per hour and which is controlled to the hand indicating control that means human action is necessary there is no separate controller action is attached to this valve so oil is going in through this valve at a rate of 100 kilograms per hour at 40 degrees uh, degree centigrade into the vessel and oil will get heated up and because uh, there will be multiple uses for the oil sometimes people try to use for it to uh, circulate it through the pumps or compressors for the cooling purpose or heating purpose or it can be used I mean uh, this process can be used for multiple reasons okay and it is the oil which is getting heated up in this vessel through the steam uh, which is jacketed around this vessel and goes out through this another valve uh, which is also hand indicating control okay steer the steam is going through a valve and uh, it is now you can see uh, the on off control system is attached to the steam that is going into this jacket for the, in the vessel so this is called a shut off valve it has a controller which is on off control as we have discussed the on off control systems have two things one is high set second is low set what is the high set point it is given as 85 degree centigrade and low set point it is given as 75 degree centigrade so what happened what this means the the uh, vessel the oil temperature should not go beyond 85 and should not drop less than 75 the objective of this control action is to keep the temperature of oil inside the vessel between these two set points okay and uh, you can see uh, the outlet because now the op uh, operation is at a steady state that means 1000 kilogram per hour is inlet and 1000 kilogram per hour is outlet and rest of you are hand indicating controls and few are through controllers actual controllers so what happens the objective is to maintain this temperature of the oil in the vessel between 75 to 80 what happens uh, see the sensor which detects the temperature here out uh, in the outlet and gives the signal uh, to this particular controller which is called the process value the process value will be detect the process value i mean the temperature is the process value here it will detect the temperature the process value now it is around 80 okay the process value in the high set and low set that means present value temperature of the oil in the vessel is 80 degrees centigrade which is between the 75 set points what is my set points 75 and 85 is my set points now everything is happens at a steady state imagine there is some disturbance happens okay uh, uh, let us give some disturbance and see how this controller is going to take an action 
imagine now this is 40 percent open the steam inlet through this valve is 40 percent open at this 40 percent i mean uh, open opening is ex presently existing for this uh, no, valve imagine now i am going to increase the flow okay i'll increase the, i will i'll try to be 10 percent or because i will try to open from 40 percent to 50 percent of the valve okay what happens when you the moment you increase see the process value here 80.16 80.2 that means you have increased the steam flow into the jacket that means of course the oil temperature is going to raise which is detected by this sensor and send a signal uh, to this controller see now the process value is 80.5 80.5 now slowly the temperature is getting increased the moment it hits 85 degrees centigrade that means this controller will send a signal to this valve to cut it off completely it will close the valve okay that is what is going to happen so let us see what happens i'll uh, increase the time speed now because it takes time to reach from 81 to 85 let me increase the uh, speed to around uh, five times let us observe you can see 81 81.7 81.8 the present value because I have opened more amount of steam uh, to this jacket 82 let me increase further a bit 10 times speed time speed so uh, let us see what happens now the process value is around 83.7 83 point the moment it hits 85 the valve will be completely shut off let me okay 84.9 80 process value present value of the oil see in the moment it got hit 85 the valve was completely shut off now the process value will reach to the 75 the moment it hits the 75 the low set point again the valve will be open that is what happened that means uh, the moment uh, it touches the low value 75 the valve will be completely open the, the temperature of the oil start raising the moment it hits 85 again the valve will completely close so uh, this controller will going to take an action uh, from between 75 and 85 that is what you are going to see let us go to the trend window and see what is going to happen see you can observe the trends here okay see what happens and uh, i can i have okay what i wanted to show you here you can see these are the things i wanted to observe what is the set value high set point low set point and the process value these are the three things i wanted to see on this trend window so i have you know check i mean i have checked out only those i wanted to see rest i have off so these are the things you can observe here you see number one is the tic 001 set point okay that means high set the bottom line is the low set point okay tic 002 set value the third one is the present process value see the present process value is bouncing between high set and low set high set and low set because that is what the job of a controller is to bring my present value between these bounds that is what uh, uh, no these are very cheaper controllers then I, I already told you that uh, it is used for those kind of processes where precise control is not necessary and uh, of course let me uh, show you one more thing i'm going to change the set points now now my low set is 75 and high set is 85 the moment i reduce the boundaries between high set and low set it is going to give problem to the controller what happens see what happens now high set is 85 let us keep the 85 i am going to change low set point now okay the low set point now i'll keep 84 that means now i have reduced the boundaries between high set and low set my high set is 85 and low set is 84 what happens you can see the frequent on and off of the control wall is going to take place now let us observe what is going to happen now the process value is 85 the moment it hits 85 the valve will be off the moment it hits 84 the valve will be open 
so the frequency will be more no, on and off frequency will be higher that means it is giving no uh, more i mean uh, i mean to say wear and tear uh, to the controller see imagine 100 percent open 100 percent close 100 percent open 100 percent close that means it is giving wear and tear to the control valve which is not suitable that is why you for using this kind of control i mean uh, on and off systems the boundary should be you know a bit higher so that it will give less wear and tear to the valve that is getting connected to this control valve see what is going to happen you you want to see now see off on off again it is going to off and on off see the frequency of off and on was increased imagine in the real uh, plant if you are increasing the frequency of on and off it is going to have high and wear and tear of the valve and you know, it will going to get damaged very soon okay that is why for using this control of controls make sure the boundaries are a bit higher uh, and uh, that is what the agenda okay i hope uh, uh, you have learned the on if on and off you no know, temperature control okay and uh, thank you very much let us uh, going to meet with this some other controllers okay and uh, apart from on and off systems okay thank you uh, here dr sudendra signing off